Okay, guys, what we're going to talk about is the, uh, the thumbs forward grip and the Y. Um, the idea is to minimize recoil, right? We want to control this, this weapon system, uh, gun, firearm, whatever we call it. We're going to want to control this thing, be able to use our trigger finger to, uh, to pull the, the trigger to the rear so we can get uh, the weapon to cycle, fire the round, cycle, rechamber, what have you, okay? So let's just kind of look at how the recoil happens. That's the best way. Um, I'm going to take some old guy a one-handed grip here just so we can see how the muzzle flips. So here I've got the, the, the pistol pointed out. Uh, we're going to see exactly how it recoils. I'm going to try to manage it as much as I can with my uh, one hand here. Now if we notice, it goes up and to the left. Okay. Well, it's a no-brainer that my hand is on the right. So this is where the reinforcement is. So where there's not any kind of meat from my hand, that the weapon's naturally going to find that path of least resistance. So we can see if I switch grips right here, it should flip out to the right. And, and sure, sure it does. Okay. So what we're going to do is we want to try to minimize uh, where there's any kind of holes in our grip because wherever there's holes the force is going to try to find its escape there we want it to find its escape through the slide right so you have pressure going out the barrel pressure coming back into the spring and it's going to cause that uh, slide to, to reciprocate so what we want to do is we want to control this lower assembly as much as we can so we get our hand as high up on the tang as we possibly can to get as much meat on the, this, this weapon as possible uh, we take our, our non-shooting hand uh, we're going to fit it right inside this groove here there's a groove that sits in here that has like an open puzzle piece I'm actually going to take my hand, I'm going to fit it inside that puzzle piece right there. Both my, my thumbs are going to go forward, I'm going to line them across this uh, bottom frame here. This one's going to hitch a right on top of this hand. From here I now have very little uh, of the pistol showing, most of it is my hand surrounding. All you can really see is the slide. So now when I have a chance to make this shot, the only thing that kind of goes back is the slide for the most part and my sights get right back online right on the line of my vision for follow-up shots if I need it. So once again, we want to try to get as much of the meat of our hands on this weapon system as we can so we can minimize where that force is going to try to escape from. So that's why we use the thumb, thumb forward grip. If I have any other kind of grip, I leave kind of holes inside there. There's a bunch of meat that's, uh, that's kind of being absent here to, to, uh, to keep the weapon stabilized. Any kind of other thumbs down grip, whatever people are using out there, teacupping, whatever, grabbing your wrist Hollywood style, I don't know. But the point of the matter is you're leaving holes and therefore it's allowing that pressure to escape and those sights are going to escape in that direction where there's no reinforcement from your hands. So once again, we fit our hands in there nice and snug. We have like a 100-100 uh, kind of pressure on the weapon instead of like a 60, 40, 30, 20, whatever you know the thing is. And from here now I can manage the recoil and I'm pushing my wrists straight in as well because down has a tendency to go here. I'm going to push them straight out to the side so that now... I can easily get those follow-up shots if I have to. So there you have it. You know, the grip needs to, you need to have as much of your hands on that weapon system as you can to minimize that recoil so you get those sights back online in case you have to do follow-up shots.